Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So here I've got a worm bin. So it's just a little Rubbermaid tote kind of thing. I cut out a hole here and duct taped some like screen material. And same with this, it's actually a really fine screen material I had, but you could use anything really that allows air to get in. So they do need a fair amount of air. The more air that it has, uh, the more they don't try to come up either. They stay in the dirt. You can see one is there trying to make its way up, but yeah. So I'm actually gonna do a feeding today. And I am rather new to this, so I'm not some expert on doing this, but the benefits of worm bins are the worm poop, you know, once they eat everything and they poop, this becomes excellent uh, fertilizer for the garden. Um, has a bunch of, you know, probiotics for the garden, I guess you would call it. I don't know, it's a beneficial bacteria, I guess. Just a lot of good stuff. So right on top, I've just got a uh, paper towel and it just sits on top, kind of helps keep them underneath. I just set that aside. So we're going to do a feeding today. I'm wearing gloves because... I mean, this stuff is fine, but it's kind of semi-gross. I kind of mix everything up in here. There's still some food from before, but I had just thrown these on top, so they probably never got to it. But everything else inside looks good, except for some eggshells in there. I'm just looking to see how, the, how they're doing, if I see any of the babies or whatever. Once they start producing, this will be good food for the chickens as well. Kind of a supplemental food, something fun that they'll eat. They love bugs, so. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at them all. There's a lot of them. Put like a little trench so I can bury it. You know, and you could add more. This is actually still rather dry, so if this was super moist, then I would be adding more shredded, like, newspaper, or this is cardboard, shredded cardboard. So I got this bag. I just kind of freeze some veggie pieces that I don't... I'm not going to use, like, ends of celery and carrot ends and stuff like that lettuce works any anything veggie really i want to say there might be a couple things that you can't i don't know enough about it to know 100 percent but anyway i just lay it in the trench and then try to bury it you saw the things that were right on top they didn't seem to like very much and actually i'm missing something here so uh this is coffee grounds so when i make coffee i just kind of set it out and there we go they'll eat that and then I've got this as a bunch of eggshell. And I also give this to the chickens as supplemental calcium. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that on top. This is one of the slowest forms of food for them. It takes them a while to break that down, but adds good calcium. So anyway, you can see all the, what they call worm castings. Basically their poop looks like dirt. And that's basically what it is. Um, they're just turning all this into dirt, but this has, re it's really rich in nutrients for the plants. So they'll really like it once this is ready. So I've had this for a couple months and, you know, it's probably close to being ready to harvesting it. Once I see a lot of this cardboard fully broken down, I think we'll, we'll be able to harvest maybe two or three more feedings and then push in winter maybe. Um, it'll be a good little boost for my plants. Make something called a worm tea. So let's go ahead and put that back on top. And that's it. It's really simple, guys. It doesn't take a lot of... A lot of work feed this about once every 10 days roughly give or take a little bit sometimes it's seven days sometimes it's 15 days and they break down whatever it is and what they don't break down they'll actually eat this cardboard it's like composting right so you want to add some kind of brown material once food goes away they'll start actually eating this napkin they'll come up and eat that they eat just about anything but they do have favorite foods and favorite foods are going to be what i just placed in for food for them kind of gets them going wants to make them want to breed and make more Worms. So I got quite a few. I started with 100 and I probably got good three or 400 now in just a short time. So it works out well. So soon, probably by the time I harvest all the worm castings, then I'll probably split this up into two bins. And one will be a feeding bin that I'll give to the chickens. And the other one will be for making the worm castings. So or making new babies or whatever it is. So anyway, thanks for coming along, guys. I will see you on the next video. Now you try to escape the daily grind.